In your consumer news this morning, the U.S. housing market has been relatively frozen for at least a year or so. Yeah, there does appear to be a little bit of a light at the end of the driveway. Maybe uh, that could mean an eventual rebound for the market. Home buyers in the U.S. may soon get a break from the increased mortgage rates that have been swirling around the housing market for roughly the past two years. First and foremost, the Federal Reserve expected to drop interest rates next month. The time has come for policy to adjust. Also, mortgage financing giant Freddie Mac recently reported the regular 30-year fixed rate mortgage has dropped to a low not seen in more than a year. And new home sales rose more than 10 percent in July from June, according to the Census Bureau and the Department of Housing and Urban Development. <laughs> However, I see $400 going towards my student loans and I see 545 going for HOA and I see groceries uh, averaging about 150 a week. Affordability issues still exist for many Americans, from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to the state of Colorado. The average home price in the Denver metro area, $600,000. Why? Because it's a great place to live. Why does it cost that much? Because we've artificially constrained the ability to build housing because of government interference. Existing home prices in July were higher by more than 4% compared to 12 months prior, according to the National Association of Realtors, which means even with the loosening of the housing market, it could still take a while before some people are able to afford their own homes. Now, both presidential candidates have proposed their plans to help boost housing supply. Vice President Kamala Harris calling for the building of 3 million new homes. Former